Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina, and this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. The link is below. I do have a Virgo-only and a Leo-only channel. So if you have those signs in your chart or you cross-watch for them, feel free to check it out. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on the channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? Um, just hashtag what you would like to win below. The winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please keep in mind that this reading could be something that has happened, is happening, or could potentially happen in the future, okay? Um, so if you're dating someone new or if you meet someone new, these could be red flags to look out for, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get poppin'. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer in love, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer in love, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the hanged man, Piscean energy, and the four of pentacles. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. The ten of wands and the moon card. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We have the eight of cups. Oh. And the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. The Eight of Pentacles under the deck with the Hermit, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Swords with the World card. Okay, Cancer, this is a little, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's positive, it's positive, but it makes your heart heavy a little bit okay i feel like cancer there is something here that you've been holding on to for a long time okay that hanged man talks about suffering and sacrifice to gain some form of enlightenment okay and with the ten of wands and the moon card for the longest time here cancer you didn't want to see the truth about this person you wanted to play deaf dumb and blind you just didn't want to see it you didn't want to see the truth about this person Okay. I feel like with that page of cups energy cancer, this is you apologizing to yourself. And with that eight of cups energy coming to an understanding that it's time to walk away. With the eight of pentacles, the hermit and the um, high priestess cancer, that eight of pentacles doesn't just talk, talk about putting work in. It talks about being an apprentice. It talks about training. It talks about studying. It could talk about going to school. Cancer, I feel like some of you are starting a spiritual journey. Some of you may be reading into Reiki or meditation or releasing or maybe even some spell work to do cord cutting or, you know, bringing love into your life, prosperity into your life, healing your chakras. You're learning. Um, I feel like many of you are still staying to yourself right now okay you're staying to yourself right now and you're gaining wisdom and analyzing the lessons that you need to learn in your life the queen of swords has been through some shit okay let's just let's just put it out there okay i feel like you're you're realizing that you need to set boundaries you're realizing that you need to protect your heart you're realizing that you're smarter than what you've just been through Okay, and with the world card here, you're finally accepting the lesson. You're finally learning the lesson, Cancer. And with the three of pentacles and the fool card and the judgment card here, I feel like you're making a final decision to truly put the work in on your own foundation and set yourself free. You may even be teaming up with a couple of friends here to meditate together, to learn together. Maybe you guys are going to the gym, doing yoga. Um, I don't really feel like it's an energy of like going to get your hair done and stuff. I mean, I'm sure you are, you know, or going to the gym. I feel like it's more a 
spiritual journey. Let's go to this meditation class. Let's go to yoga. Let's go, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this together. Um, for some of you, not for all of you, okay? Uh, I, I do honestly feel for the collective with the hermit and the high priestess, many of you are staying to yourselves and learning and gaining wisdom. YouTube videos, reading books, or just meditating, learning to listen to your guides. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. Tell me about the Hanged Man and the Three of Wands. Cancer, you held on to a situation that was going nowhere. This person was in and out. This person, um, you know, I, I feel like you held on to a situation that was going nowhere. But with the Hanged Man and the Three of Wands, you were always in an energy of it'll get better. It'll get better. I could see things getting better. You know what I'm saying? And with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Cups under the deck, there's such an energy of sorrow because it became so hard and it became so heavy. And it was one disappointment after the next, one one sword in your back after the next. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The, but the Moon card, you just didn't want to see it. You didn't want to see the truth about this person. Seven of Pentacles, you know, you didn't want to see that you were getting nothing out of it. You didn't want to see that you were investing all of this stuff you didn't want to look at the history you know that you were you were starting to accumulate with this person how things were happening over and over the eight of cups and the strength card cancer you're you're gaining your courage to walk away page of cups and the three of cups so cancer this could be an energy of this person coming back to reconcile or this could be you even finding out about a third party and you knew that there was something going on the whole time tell me about this page of cups and this three of cups with the two of swords this person may come back to reconcile cancer you may not want to do it again you may not want to do it again OK, you may be hearing from a friend that there was a third party uh, and you just don't want to like this is it. You know, it's over now. Or it could be that, you know, this person's coming in to apologize and you just cannot open your heart to this person anymore. You just can't open your heart to this person anymore. Tell me about this two of swords and the eight of swords. Yeah, it's like, you know, the eight of swords talks about. The Eight of Swords talks about being in a mental prison. It talks about, um, you know, knowing something in your mind and tormenting yourself over it, but not knowing if it's the truth or not. Not knowing, you know, you don't have physical proof, okay? So there's always this energy of what if I'm wrong? What if I'm just in my head? What if I just have trust issues from a past relationship? What if I just have PTSD? What if I'm accusing something of so uh, someone of something that they're not really doing? Doing? What if I am really messed up in the head? You understand? Even though with that moon card, all the signs were there. You just didn't want to see it. Maybe because you didn't have physical proof. But with the page of cups, there could be actually communication coming in that's coming to tell you that something isn't right. Tell me about cancer, please. Or, you know, maybe you're not getting any proof at all. This person's coming in to apologize and reconcile. And you're just like, listen, I can't. I can't be mentally tormented like this anymore. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups. Tell me about cancer, please. We have the Devil and the Empress. Oh no. Tell me about Cancer, please. The Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Cancer, I hate to break it to you, but you may have been dealing with somebody that was in high levels of commitment. You may have been dealing with somebody that was in high levels of commitment. This person just gets bored with that Four of Cups energy and with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. They go off and they talk to new people or sleep with new people. Look, the Knight of Wands under the deck and the Two of Wands. They go find something else, but with the Emperor and the Emperor. Look at this. Emperor, Empress, and the Queen of Wands. This is someone that's just bored with their situation and they want to go cheat. Point blank period. Now, you may know this. You may not know this. You know what I'm saying? Because with that two of wands energy, this person may go and find people that live at a distance from them. Tell me about the ten of cups, please. 
the seven of wands tell me about the four of cups and the ten of pentacles in the reverse Was this person cut off financially in their relationship? I got to be honest. This is just weird. Because we have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Cups. The Ten of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Is this... I mean, I can't see an emperor and an empress not having money. What is this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse with the Six of Wands? cancer this is a dynamic where one person makes money and the other doesn't so what you have here is an emperor and an empress but I don't know who it is if it's the emperor or the empress but one of them is on a throne only by association only by association does that make sense to you so one person is the breadwinner and the other person just sits there Okay, and I feel like because <clears throat> like because this person doesn't make money, they get bored. This person sits home, maybe they don't work, okay, they sit home, and with the six of wands, they want to go have their ego fed because they're in a relationship with one person that's successful and they are not. They sit home, they sit bored, they have nothing going on for themselves, so they go and cheat. Now, Cancer, you maybe don't know this about this person because when they roll up to your house they're rolling up in a Land Rover or a Range Rover or something or a Mercedes you know or a nice car you know what I'm saying it could be anything even a really nice Ford Edge you know but it's brand new you know you, this person may come off like they have money but it's not theirs it's their persons okay and the reason why this person has so much time on their hands is because they're dealing with an emperor or an empress this is someone that could potentially be very busy during the day do you understand? Tell me about the devil card here for cancer. Good Lord. The hermit here, Virgo energy. Tell me about the devil and the hermit with the ace of cups. Cancer, this person messed up and fell in love. The devil and the hermit with the queen of wands. They ended up making the mistake of falling in love with a third party, Cancer. They ended up making the mistake of falling in love with the third party. Tell me about the four of swords with the queen, excuse me, four of swords with the knight of wands. So it's either the third party fell in love with them or they fell in love with the third party. Okay. Ten of swords with the ace of wands. Tell me about this ace of wands and this ten of swords and the four of wands. Yeah, there's an energy here of, listen, I understand that you're falling in love. There could be communication happening here of, uh, you know, someone here may be saying, listen, I understand you're in love, but this can only be sex or I can only come when I come here uh, because this, you know, with the four of wands, this is someone that's in a, a marriage, a commitment. Okay. This is someone that's in a marriage or a commitment. You know, this connection may even be ending. It's like this person doesn't maybe want to let go of the third party, but at the same time, they can't offer commitment because they don't have anything else to offer. And let me make one thing perfectly clear, Cancer. This is not somebody that's going to leave their relationship in the name of love because this is someone that doesn't work. They don't have a dollar to their name and they're not going to leave a situation where they are financially stable to come go towards the other person. Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. This is somebody that has managed to give to two different situations. They've managed to juggle two situations. Their, their marriage or their relationship and something else. And ultimately, with that Four of Cups energy, this person has a lot of time on their hands. You could be dating someone here, Cancer, and you could be like, but they call me all day long. They text me all day long, Gina. But if you're in a relationship and you feel like something's wrong, like something is off, like something isn't right, Okay, pay attention because this person has is in a relationship with somebody that works a lot. Tell me about cancer, please. Oh. Page of wands in the reverse. Tell me about cancer, please. And the two of wands in the reverse. 
with the world card. This is someone saying, I can never choose you. This is somebody that is saying, I can never choose you. I'm sorry. The death card and the justice card. This is someone saying, I can never choose you. The two of cups in the reverse. <sighs> yeah, this is a really... Uh... What relationship is... Oh, my Lanta. Cancer, there could potentially be a divorce here because I feel that with the High Priestess and the Fool card, I think a secret is coming out. I think this person is going to end up finding out. Look, the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Dude, is this Empress finding out? Because I'm seeing a divorce here. The Death card and the Justice card with the Two of Cups in the reverse, the High Priestess and the Fool. Is this a truth coming out? Tell me about this High Priestess and the Fool. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone that's saying, listen, I go to work every day. I bring money in this house. What are you doing all day? Six of Cups in the reverse. This is someone that... The Lover's card... This is someone that has a history of cheating, possibly. This is someone that has a history of cheating. I leave for work in the morning, and here you are talking to all of these people, cheating behind my back. Is this a secret that's coming out? Or does this person just have a history of doing this? Is this a secret that's coming out? Is this a truth that's coming out? Temperance and the judgment card with the king of swords. This is with Temperance, the Judgment card, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. This Empress energy is saying, you know what? I'm cutting this off because I'm better off alone. I've been patient long enough. I've, I've been dealing with you long enough. You know what I'm saying? This, this Empress energy is dealing quite possibly with an Emperor that straight up brings nothing to the table other than cheating as soon as they leave for work. That's what we have going on here. Wow. Okay, so Cancer, I'm going to take this into the extended. I want to find out what the future holds for you. I want to see if you have new love coming in because you, you are really hurt here. You are really disappointed. So is there anything positive coming in for you in love? And what's going to happen in this situation between the Emperor and the Empress? Because Cancer, for all I know, you could be the Empress or you could be the Emperor. I don't know. I don't know where you stand in all of this. You could be the Empress that gets up and goes to work and works long hours. And as soon as you leave the house, your person is sitting at home talking and cheating all over the place behind your back. I don't know. So let's see what's happening here between this emperor and this empress. And let's see what's happening to this person that is letting go of the situation that, you know, this queen of wands energy. Okay. I love you all so very much. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I will see you guys there. Bye, my loves.